Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen how the how we can represent the functions in a shorter way. So the, like this we have seen in the previous video. Now we will see how the this keyword will behave in this shorter syntax. Okay. So now let's write our whole function. So what we have seen in our previous videos about the this keyword. Now what I will try to do is I will try to print the this. If I try to print the this, now I will try to call the function outside. Now if I try to clear it and if I try to run, now if you see you are getting the you try to check this all the output this is nothing but the window object you go top you will be getting the window object if i go top you will be getting the object window window object you will be trying to get the object window okay that is the reason so we are getting the object window now what i will try to do is very long one okay yeah here we, we saw the window object now i will try to write another one that is shorter way of writing the syntax that is nothing but wire function to is equal to okay what i will try to do just i will try to print the console.log this only so here what could be the this will be i i will i will stop this function one okay now i will try to check the uh, this in the shorter syntax here if I see here this one is also printing the same thing like syntax arrow syntax only if you go here so we are getting the same output as object window so that means the old way of representing the function and the new way of representing the function so this behaves similar way only but here now what I will try to do is I will show you different uh, uh, scenario let's say I have added here one button okay click here or something like this I have added a button okay now what I will try to do so I have added here the button I will try to take that button that is that means so where button is equal to document dot I will be using query selector of button so these are all query selectors we have seen in the DOM object model of the previous videos of JavaScript complete and now button now what I will try to do is so btn button dot add event listener. So I am adding a event listener to listen to the click event of that button. Whenever the user clicks on the button, I want to listen the event. Now what I will try to do, I will keep it down so that you will be understanding. So instead of calling this one, I will write it here. Now what I will try to do, I will try to call the first function. Okay. I will try to call the bold function. So that means bold representation of the function I will try to call. So now if I check the output here, so run with JS. Okay, I will clear this one. I will try to click the click here. If I click here, now here see if you see the output here, if you see the output, you will be able to see that one is not a object window. If you able to see here, sorry, if you able to see this is not an object so the, this is not the object window object be able to see here if you go top this is the button element so that means whoever has called this function so the so it is taking that one as the this element now what i will try to do i will try to call the function to here okay now now run with js and i will click uh, click here so if you see here in this one you see here this one is nothing but what we can say this one is a window object okay in the world representation of representation of the function that this is taking as the button so html button whoever who, whoever has called this function it will take that one as the this uh, this variable but here in this short syntax it will maintain as the superset this will be maintained as the superset only so for pre in the previous uh, javascript courses uh, goal we have seen there is no need for calling that function using bind or call or apply so to pass that this to that function so that the whatever the this is there outside the function so take that this only inside this function also 
like that there is no need to call with bind or call or something like that for the shorter way of writing the syntax okay so this is the main thing main difference between writing the older way of writing the function and the new way of shorter syntax of writing the function so this this is different when compared to the older function and the this is different when compared to the newer function so this one is the main main difference if you think uh, uh, another difference i told you right so shorter way of representation that one will be nice only but the main difference is the this the handling of the this keyword in the both the functions so in this function whoever has called this function so that that caller guys will be taking caller that guy will be taking as a this here but here it will take only the super set of the this only so we here whatever the this it will be having so that this that this only will be will be maintained here also okay this is the main difference between the calling uh, the this keyword in the older function and the new function if you like this video please subscribe to my channel Thank you.